I'm Johnny. And it's time for repetition. Repetition gives rise to expectation, which allows for variation, which then gives rise to excitement, which allows for resolution, which gives rise to fulfillment. This is the secret. Repetition gives rise to expectation, which allows for variation, which gives rise to excitement, which allows for resolution, which gives rise to enlightenment. This is really the secret to creating any kind of temporal art. <laughs> hang on, hang on a minute. What the hell you on about, Johnny, when you say temporal art? Okay, so here's what it is. And this is just probably my bullshit and made up term for it. It's art that requires time in order to experience it. Like, you can approach a photo or a painting just at any old point and run with it. It doesn't matter. Something like a book or a movie or music is temporal. In fact, the fundamental isness of music is, by definition, temporal. It is how many times a particular thing vibrates. It is the frequencies. It is all time, baby. Which isn't to say that some visual arts can't be temporal. I mean... Look at some MC Escher. Repetition is easy to explain. Repetition is easy to explain. Repetition is easy to explain. Variation, also pretty easy. The variation is that bit in a kick drum pattern that instead of just going, actually goes. It's an unexpected chain. But see that kick drum pattern that I just laid out? That's a trope. That is a very well-known trope. In a lot of ways, the variation itself is just a repetition of a well-worn pattern. That variation can become repetition within a song, within a genre, or even within a culture. Variation provides excitement to the audience, and sometimes even tension, which practically begs to be resolved through the return of the repetition. Your audience demands it. And when you resolve it, it provides a sense of fulfillment within your audience. This expectation variation resolution cycle is actually fairly prominent within music. It's in the notes that we choose, it's in the scales that we practice, it's in the instruments we play, and it's in the songs that we sing. This interplay between the repetition and the variation and on all different levels from the tiniest note all the way up to the metal level of that mix is where the real interesting things happen. Like these two sides of the yin and yang, and it's the real masters that know how to work with it. So I'd like to know what your favorite uses of repetition are. What expectations of yours have been broken and what variations get you really excited? What resolutions really tied the whole thing up in a nice, neat little fulfillment bow? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, repetition is fun. Repetition is fun. Repetition is fun.